Wow, how here with more Imperion, and today we're going to actually look at some of the script logic and how to set up a sequence timer in Lights. But first, we have to get started, so let's go. And so what we're doing today is we've had some questions about switches. Uh, there's been updates to the way that the script logic works in Imperion. And what I want to do is show you that you can now build light timers, very simple timers, um, inside the game using the script logic. So as an example, we have this switch here. When you turn it on, the light turns on, there's a counter, and then it turns off. If you leave it sit long enough, the light doesn't come back on, it will stay, it basically stays off in order to reset it. All you have to do is come over here to flip the switch down, and then just to show you that we don't have any funny business going on here, let it sit for a few seconds, see everything's still working okay. Flip the switch on, you get light, you wait a couple of seconds, it turns off. Now. What you can do using this is if you use this type of logic, and we will show you how to build this logic shortly. I've got a, an example system set up, set up over there to show you how we did this. Um, if you, well, you know what? Let's go show you how to build this first. The, because the, the timer, the simple timer is what everyone's worried about, right? This is what you want to know how to do. So what you do, or what I have done in this case, is I have installed the lever and I've installed a light. We have the signal logic set up so that when you throw the switch, you have a delay in place. It'll generate uh, a new signal. That new signal then also generates a delay, which eventually gets send th sent through an inverter. And then in order to make sure that the light is only turned on when all of these things are going on and the switch is on, you have the switch and the, the inverted output needing to be there for to generate the signal that the, the light is tied to. Right, so DI01. When you flip the switch, you get light. You give it a couple of seconds, and you have no light. Wait for it. Wait for it. For some reason, this particular light seems like it takes longer, and I'm not sure why. Um, so I'm thinking there is still some bugs in the system, um, but using the regular lights, this everything seems to work fairly correctly. Let's go here and I just want to make sure. All right, so we're going to turn that switch off. We're going to come over here. We are going to set this to use DI01. Let's turn it off. Flip the switch. Give it a 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Huh. Okay, maybe it's something with the way that I've got this system set up on this one. But it does turn off. I'm not sure why we're getting inconsistencies with the second thing. Maybe it's too close and it's registering in that one? Hmm, I'm going to have to experiment with that a little bit more. But I wasn't seeing that earlier uh, when we were doing this. Because when you come over here, we reset this one. Right? 1001, 1002, it turns off. Okay, so this one works properly. So there's something going on with that one. I'm guessing it's probably too close to this one. Um, but anyway, so that is that is how you set it up, though. Now, with this one, if you nest these things, right? So you have that that little script that I, that I showed you over here. Looking at this, if you come over, you know, if you're looking at this thing, you have a delay to delay inverter the two by and right so if you take this and duplicate it what will happen is is that when you flip the switch let's come over here so we can show you when you flip the switch the light turns on you'll get your count the light turns off you get your count the light turns on and then if you do a third duplication of it it will turn back off so what you need to remember is that when you are building these scripts let me scroll down here so that we're only looking at this. Um, so this is our second switch. Same thing you saw before. Switch 2 has a one second delay on it to generate the signal here, which has another one second delay on it, which creates this, runs it through an inverter. The switch and the inverted signal have to be there for it to work. Now what we've done 
is we've duplicated this, carrying this the signal here down to a new sequence. And what we're doing is each time you do this, it will change the final status of the light. So if it's an even number, the final sequence, the final uh, loop in that sequence, or the final signal in that sequence, on even numbers will be the reverse of whatever the first one was. So if it's odd, it'll be off. If it's even, it'll be on. Okay. I know that is probably as clear as mud. <laughs> I apologize for the confusion. Um, so if you do have any questions about the way the circuit is set up, let me know. I can make this uh, blueprint available on the workshop so you can actually take a look at the, the circuit itself and basically reverse engineer it. Um, but as long as you take the same the same sequence and continuously add to it, you can have a repeating pattern that's as long as the sequences that you created it. Now, I don't know what the, the full extent of this is, how, like how many times you'd be able to, to latch these together, but you could use this as a short, in a shortened sequence format where you were doing something with, say, uh, you have it, a switch tied to the, your, your gravity generator. You flip the switch, it goes through the sequence and say it flashes say like three times or five times or ten times whatever and when the last sequence goes off the same sequence that is triggering there you could have set to be your gravity generator so if you knew you had like a, a 10 second delay you could have your switch start this sequence and a second delay sequence and the output of the, the second delay sequence is actually tied to your generator. Um, so when you flip the switch, it'll flash. When the last flash goes off, the power goes off as well. So as long as you have your timing down, you can actually get things to balance out pretty easily. Um, we will be using this during some of our builds in the future, because like I've said, as they expand out on this system, I want to be including these types of things in the builds so that we can do more automation inside the builds. Because I, I just think it's a nice touch to have, you know, a console where you go over and you flip a switch and you'll get warning klaxons that go off that say, you know, oh, oh God, something's, something's gone wrong. Or, you know, hey, heads up, if you're in this airlock, the door's about to open. Um, they still have not fixed the logic with the doors and overriding the doors with using the script logic yet. But hopefully that will be in the near future. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, hopefully this helps a little bit. I, like I said, I will make this blueprint available. In fact, let us <laughs> do this right now. Now do keep in mind, this is for uh, the Alpha Build 6.0 series, you have to be on the most common or the most current updated version in order to use it, which is currently part four, um, which is 6.0.4, I think. Let me see here. This is, we're gonna call this light timer. We'll save that. Ah, so 6.0.8 is the is the current build version. So if you are not on development build, you're not going to be able to use this blueprint. I will make note of that in the blueprint details once we post it up there. Uh, hopefully this is hopeful for everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I may not be able to answer it right away, uh, but I will do my best. You can also take a look over on the official forums over at Imperion. Uh, Imperiononline.com. In the official forums, they have a thread specifically tied to or discussing uh, the six, the six O uh, developmental build. That they do have a thread specifically for feedback on the trigger system. So there's lots of people talking about it. We're exchanging ideas on how to use these things and how they're working in the game currently. And we're providing, you know, we're looking. Everyone's looking for suggestions to provide back to Imperion. Um, on Elyon Games, I should say, on what we can do or what they can do to make the system better. Um, so any feedback you have, so if you if you are a Logic Script programmer, you are more than welcome to come in here and tell everybody how we're doing it wrong, <laughs> you know, and and help Elyon get the get this thing in and running because it's a great system. I'm really excited to see where they take it. Uh, but I am going to get out of here. Like I said, this was just a quick look at the new scripts. 
and to see how things have been updated. So if you have any questions, like I said before, throw them down in the section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we have timed lights. We have lights. We have script timers. Yay. <laughs>